Hello team and welcome back to the channel. So today's video is going to be really useful for everyone who is watching this video. And yeah, before we get started, I would recommend you subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, you will find tons of amazing hands-on videos on DevOps as well as on Cloud DevOps. Also, as you know, on this channel, we try to focus on creating real-time scenario-based videos so that you can learn how things happen in companies from DevOps point of view. Similar kind of things we are going to implement today. So at this point, you have, might have already implemented a lot of CICD pipelines and at the end of that pipeline, we have configured or written steps to so that we can receive email notification from our Jenkins pipeline, the status of the build. If pipeline completed successfully, failed with uh, like some error or if it is unstable in any scenario, we are receiving an email notification over Gmail so that we can confirm the status of the pipeline, right? But obviously in companies, either they are going to use their uh, like uh, own domain based email right for example like aditya at the rate devopshack.com right these kind of emails they use so in that scenarios how we can configure right that's what i'm going to show you and for that i'm going to use outlook because outlook is one of the email that is being used in almost every company right so yeah that's what i'm going to show you completely hands-on but again if you don't want to miss any of the steps make sure to follow the video till end because whatever i saw uh, if you miss any of the steps you are going to face issues okay and yeah uh i would also request you one more thing that uh for me to continue making such useful videos for you please keep supporting me if you find the videos useful that i make give it a like sh share it with people who really need it and if you're new on the channel make sure to subscribe now yes uh with that being said let's get started so team now we can get started so basically what we have to do first we have to set up jenkins we have to set up pipeline inside it and we have to configure we have to proper like uh, properly configure our outlook so that email communication can be done okay now make sure to take a screenshot of this uh, security group because these are the ports that i have open okay and one important port that you need to make sure that you have opened which is 587 which will be the smtp port for our uh, outlook okay so first of all let us create a server where we are going to set up our jenkins i'm going to call this as sorry about that i'm going to call this as server and i'm taking ubuntu machine version will be 24.04 instance will be uh, i'm going with t2 medium which is more than enough and keep here uh, the one that we have on our local security group the one that i just showed you and storage i'm going to go with 20 okay click on launch instance and once it is created we'll be able to connect to it okay so it is currently in pending status so just copy the public ip address open the mobile storm okay and let me close the previous one and let me delete this also and let me create a new session ssh public ip address you have to paste it here and username so in our case ubuntu because we have created ubuntu machine and for authentication we need to use the private key that we have stored on our local machine just to let you know if you are new here uh, basically you know when we create a virtual machine for example here i click one option we have to select key pair in case you don't have any key pair saved on your local click on create new key pair provide a name make sure it's rsa and make sure format is spam file once you do this it will be downloaded on your local machine which can be utilized okay so here click on use private key browse and now we can select the uh, machine where we have select that and click on ok and let me just rename this I'm going to rename this to Jenkins and okay so now we are connected now control L to clear the screen and first command that we are supposed to run is going to be sudo apt update okay which is going to update all the packages in the local Linux repository and uh, so that they can uh, they will be available for usage okay Meanwhile, it is getting done. We can go on browser and here we can search install Jenkins on Ubuntu. Click on the first link and then select the uh, uh, flavor that you are having. So since I'm having Ubuntu machine, click on that. And these are the commands that we need to run in order to install Jenkins. Now, one thing you should know that prerequisite for Jenkins is that it should be having a JDK installed. And here you can see uh, like JDK 11 is not support uh, supported in i think debian 12 okay just for the safe uh, safety i would recommend always go for jdk 17 at this point so first let us install jdk 17 i'll search here as java 
we can see that java is not installed but we got the commands to install jdk right and here we can install the first one which has the jdk 17 headless what is headless headless means basically that uh, there is no ui for this java version okay i'll put hyphen y so that no prompt comes and i'll run this okay now this will take few minutes to uh, install completely and now once it is done then we can go ahead and install jenkins on this server okay so let's wait for this okay so this is done and i can check also java hyphen hyphen version here we can see that it is installed right next up we can go back to Jen uh, jenkins website which we opened copy the commands and paste it here click enter and it will start installation click again and let's wait for this to complete so meanwhile this is getting done uh, let's wait for it because you know uh, there are certain prerequisite for outlook side also so we have to configure certain things there as well okay so let's uh, let it over first okay so this is done now immediately we can uh, try to access our machine sorry jenkins so we have this uh, virtual machine running i'll get the ip address public ip address paste on browser and by default jenkins runs on port 8080 so uh, colon 8080 click enter and yeah now first we need to have an administrator password which is located on this uh, file i'll copy this path and since it is located inside var folder so i'll be using sudo cat and the file name right and now we got the administrator password sorry i'm unable to pronounce it okay so i'll copy that and i'll paste it here continue and yeah so there are two options we can go with install services plugins click on that and this will take few minutes to completely uh, like install all these uh, default plugins necessary for jenkins meanwhile we can go back to here outlook right so first thing you need to make sure that you are creating an outlook email for example i created a demo email uh, with this name professor at the rate outlook.com okay so once i have created what things i have to do first thing you have to do is enable imap what is imap so let me show you actually so yeah uh see you see this icon settings icon click on that and not in general we can click on second option which is email and you see this uh, second last option in this side forwarding and imap okay imap is was so imap is basically internet message access protocol what does it mean so basically using this only you will be able to uh, access your emails from any device okay and we need to do that so we'll scroll down at the end sorry first click on forwarding and imap we need to enable it basically okay so scroll down and here you see this option pop and imap so make sure that these two things are enabled first you enable this let device uh, and apps use pop and make sure that this is also enabled let devices apps use imap okay so once you have done this then next step is to uh, enable two-factor authentication okay because uh, and let me tell you why we need to have that so basically see generally when we uh, when we are going to configure username and password so for that we have to use uh, email and password right but if you are configuring user uh, email and password directly in jenkins it's not secure so instead of that what we have option one we have option to create app password okay what is app password so instead of using uh, actual password for our email we create a specific application password uh, that is used for uh, authentication from jenkins so that uh, email ad email can be triggered but this app password cannot be used to access your email okay so this will make sure that uh, nobody uh, if even if someone gets our email and app password they cannot access our email that means key the password to uh, log into our account and the password which will be using inside jenkins these two are different passwords okay and this is this has a uh, uh, value only in jenkins there only it can be used okay now uh, imap and uh, pop we have enabled next thing we have to do we have to go to security for security you can go to this url account.microsoft.com and make sure that you have logged in here then on new tab just uh, paste that okay so once you come this uh, once you go to account.microsoft.com you will come to this page click on security on left side and let's wait for this
okay so now here click on uh, manage how i sign in click on that and here you see this uh, where is it one second okay this option you see additional security two-step verification as of now it is turned on so make sure that you have turned on your two-step verification then only you'll be able to see this option app passwords okay so the password that we are going to generate here that is going to be utilized by specific applications like Jenkins okay and this password cannot be used by anyone to access our email that is the best part so first of all what I'm going to do I'm going to remove the existing app password I'm going to create a new one okay click on create new app password okay and this is the password okay I'll copy that and I'll save it on my machine so that we can utilize it later click on done so from uh, outlook side we have uh, completed whatever was required okay now we can go ahead and co configure Jenkins so here let me configure username and password full name will be this and email address will be anything you want you can just put it and save and finish start using Jenkins okay so we have installed right quickly go to manage Jenkins now go to plugins and first you should go to install plugins and here you should search email now see why i'm going to install plugins because in uh, at this point this is this this plugin comes by default in case if email extension plugin is not available by default make sure that you are installing it by going to available plugins and searching here okay and then only it will be uh, working also i'll just install this stage view so let's wait for this to complete okay now what we have to do we have to go to manage Jenkins we have to go to system and we have to scroll down go at the end here you find email notification and here we have extended email notification okay first we have to put the SMTP server what is the SMTP server in our case in case of Outlook we have to use this as our SMTP server so copy that paste it here SMTP port is going to be 587 click on advanced credentials okay in case of Gmail we were using SSL but as I say TLS is more secure so we are going to go with TLS okay talking about credentials so click on add click on Jenkins and first we have to add our email outlook email that we have created which will be the username and the password is going to be the app password that we have just created so copy that and I'll paste it here and here you can just provide any name you want click on add and make sure that you are selecting it okay next thing uh, default user email suffix what we have to do here uh, where is it face it to the user okay so here I am going to set at the rate outlook.com okay it is the suffix default user email suffix scroll down and here we have what's that uh, okay so here also I'm just going to put my email let me get this I'll copy this and I will paste it here scroll down and let's see rest of the things seems fine to me and I want to trigger uh, trigger this email over like always like in any condition that email should be triggered okay let me just look once more one more time the TLS is still fine okay scroll down to email notification here we are going to put the SMTP server in our case it's going to be office365.com paste it here and default so and so so here also outlook.com make sure they are putting at the rate okay click on advance and here use TLS and click show make sure to use SMTP authentication here we can provide the email address where is it this one and password is going to be the app password that we have created copy that uh, paste it here SMTP port is 587 
reply to address it's going to be email make sure that you are not messing up here okay click on apply okay so we have saved it now now what we can do we can go to dashboard we can create our pipeline i'll just uh, provide the name as email click on pipeline click on ok discard old builds i'll just keep two builds in the history and here i'll just create a sample pipeline we are not going to write the full stack pipeline now because we just need to test if our uh, email notification is working or not okay so just one stage and make sure that uh, after this section after stages section on the pipeline level we have to configure the mail notification code code you'll be able to get it uh, from my this page okay and i'll copy that i'll just share you this code as well in telegram it will be available okay talking about what you need to make sure that you have correctly configured it this section to from and replied to 200% double check this section if it is a different email that you have configured in the system level it will not work make sure see you, i have written professor at the rate outlook.com this section can be different any other email uh, that is on outlook you can just put it but this section from section should be this only okay and i have see this is written in such a way that uh, based on status of the pipeline if it is success if it is failed based on that it's going to generate a proper colored border okay so i'll copy this and as i said we have to copy and paste it on the pipeline level here i'll remove this and paste it here okay okay i guess one bracket is missing i'll just put it and let me just compare uh, one two three hmm. okay let's run this and let's see what happens now okay sending email to uh, this professor the at the rate outlook.com it says success now we can go to uh, our email and second i'll just go back to email here we can see the status build success right that means it is working fine second thing that we can try now is the uh, failed status so i'll scroll down here and i'll just write let's say i'll just create uh, two stages with the same name which is generally not allowed okay click on apply and let's see what happens now it got failed okay sorry no 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 in this case uh, it uh, it won't work let me just make something different i'll write something like just wrong here so that it can fail okay sending mail okay second mail came and this is with red color okay now you can see it is working completely fine and this is how we can set up a uh, email notification notification from jenkins to outlook okay again i'm saying make sure to watch it till here because if not then again you are going to face issues okay so yeah that's that was all for today's video and i hope this was useful for you so thanks for watching and have a nice day